Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Unit 3D LAN tutorial. And last tutorial we made our weapon class, so it stores all our stats for our weapons, which is here, and we stored it on MISC scripts here. So what we're going to do today is actually make it so when we pick up this sword here, it adds it to our inventory. Now this is really simple to do if you think about it. So I don't know why I'm trying to focus on that. But if we open up our character's inventory add item, and we also need our inventory GUI item. So if we look from here, this we, we don't need to return to all this. All this does is come down and add it. So in our function update, it's constantly calling add it, adding new item, new item here. And it's constantly calling it, which calls this function here, over and over again. But if we go to our collision scripts, as well, which is here. So from this one, well here, this one comes down, say we collect the nuclear box, it says the textures, the items, player amount, it increases our player's amount, but then on the inventory add item, that inventory new item added here, boom, it turns it to whatever ID it needs, that's okay. Then it destroys the object, fair play. We come over to here, and because this is being called in function update, we don't necessarily need it to be here, but we just have anyway, because we may as well just turn it to update. But this is coming down, and it's saying if that number is more than minus one, then perform this code. Okay, so if we come back to here, and set this inventory to add item added zero to zero, because it's, that's the idea of the wooden sword, and we'll also grab this line here and put it in weapons, like so, then that will bounce it across to it and set it to zero. But when it comes down, it will set the new item equals to the textures, which if we scroll up is our item stats. That's not what we want. So instead of calling it the textures, I'm going to rename it a little bit. So I'm going to call it, so we're going to call it item stats. And every single time it says the textures, I'm just going to rename it to the item, item stats, because it makes a lot more sense. So we've done that, now we're going to duplicate the item stats line and call it weapon stats. And same again, weapon stats. So now that does that. And we're going to come down, and in here we're going to type, well we're not typed yet, but we need to determine whether it's an item what's being added, or a weapon what's being added. And this is again really simple if we think about it. So instead of this being called here, like this, we can act I might write one here. This, we don't need it there. If we copy it and note it out, an easier way would be to just paste it as another set option in here. So every time it adds it, it calls this code. Now you may think, well, it's a bit much, it doesn't really need to, but wait and see what we're going to do. We're going to come down, put it in every one, like so. Potion. No, it doesn't need to add it. Right, I believe that's everything. Yep, so that comes down and adds it. This one here. So it calls it, perfect. So now that I'll activate this. We could test it, but I already know it's gonna work. So an easier way would be to add some parameters inside these brackets. So that this way we'll be able to determine what it is we're adding and what, bit of a, um, it, what type of item it is. So we're gonna try this by typing weapon and this will be a boolean just like we did for all the classes so it'll be a weapon as you can see here we're just going to basically do this a weapon will be a boolean okay so is it a weapon yes or no but then we're going to put a comma and put another one i believe it's a comma yes then we're going to put another one so we're now going to put id in just like that so now if we were to go back you'll see that it give us an error and the error is that it doesn't understand adding new item. That's not the error I was intending for. But basically what that's saying is where we've put on collisions, add new item, we haven't defined what it is at the top. That's all. So we're going to type var, adding new item. This will be inventory add item. Oh dear. And we just set adding item here equals 
game object dot find character dot get component misc scripts. In fact, it's not misc scripts. It's inventory add item. So now when we run it, we'll get another type of error. And the error is that it cannot understand what the overload is. And basically what this error means is boolean int. So when it's trying to call our function, we're not providing those two abilities. So if we go back to collisions here, inside these brackets here, we need to put, so bracket, we need to put in here, first, is it a weapon? No, so that means it's an item, correct. And the next one is the ID of it, which is, we already know, nothing. We don't need to call this one. Ignore that one. It's this one. So it's an item, so it's false. And the ID of it is, again, not needed. It's the wrong one. Here we are. This one. I'll get it right this time. False. And the item ID is zero. Perfect. So now we've done that, we can copy this for this one. Change to one. Okay, that one's three, this one's two, I haven't done it the same. That one's one, I apologise. Two, four, nuclear box, this will be five. And weaponry. Now we come down, it's zero, but it is a weapon. Perfect, so now it'll come across, it'll call that function, which will be this one here, and it'll say, instead of typing if inventory item added is that, we'll note that out, duplicate it, and make the second one, and in here we'll type if id is more than minus 1 and the reason we'll print more than minus 1 is because currently minus 1 doesn't exist in an array I don't know but there is one thing I want to know I want to know how to create my own variable I think that would be quite funny but yeah anyway going back to this thing so this will go if id is more than 0 well it is because we're calling it so we could technically not even have that there, but, um, okay. It's going to come down, and instead of going inventory, add items, not new item added, we're going to replace that with, every single time it says it, ID. So, find another one that says it. Hmm. So every time it says that, we're going to replace it with that. But not only that, we need it to refine the correct one. So this one as well. So every time... It says inventory to add new item, inventory new I that one. So every time it says the static variable, we're going to replace it with ID. That's it. So it comes down much easier. And yet it won't determine the difference between an item or a weapon yet. But what it will do is, if we get rid of that, it'll come down. Instead of saying the new item added equals item starts items ID. So it'll go from our item to our item stats, which is that up there, to our items to get the ID to get the icon. So it gets the new icon. So it's working the exact same as before, but it's saving on a lot of processing power because it's not having to call it every So it's only ever going to call this whenever we collect something. So if we look anything we've collected, it'll call it. And if we do eventually need to call it in the future, we can. It's simple as that. I don't even think we need to, so I think we can just get rid of that, like that. So it's much easier, much more savoury, so it's not calling this every two seconds. So now we need to tell it to determine whether or not to go to our item stats or the weapon stats. Now this is going to be quite consuming on what we're going to do lengthwise, but it still works the exact same. So what we're going to do down here, so what we basically need to make it do is instead of saying item stats down here, we need it to say item stats or weapon stats. Now there's two two ways really we can do it. We can put an if statement on these two here, which is the way I'm actually going to proceed with it myself in a minute. Or you could just put if blah blah, blah the else till this. So you have two big sections of these code, which is a bit useless. So we don't need to set ID to anything anymore because well we just don't. We don't need to because as soon as we call the function again it's going to be changed so we don't need to so it'll come down and in here we're going to type if weapon equals false which it will if it's an item then it'll set the new item to that easy enough else it will set it to the weapon stats so we type 
weapon stats dot weapons ID icon. Easy. And now here's a little trick what I haven't taught you before. If you're only doing one line under it, so like here, I'm only calling one line in the if statement, you don't need to put the brackets. You can just keep it like that. And it'll still call one. If you need multiple lines like these ones, you need to put the brackets in. So it's just a quick way to save room so it looks a lot neater. So if weapon equals that, call that, else call that. Easy. Really saves like four lines, so it's really cool. So we've done that, it comes down, but save it a bit of time in the future, we're going to put else if weapon equals true. Then do that, because we never know, we might add something else in the future. So it'll come down here, and the first one it gets to, if we double click this, is this one. Inventory grids that player amount, so basically increasing the player's amount. In adding a grid to the player's amount of it. That's easy enough again. Same again, if weapon equals false, which it does, do that line, and else if weapon equals true, then, oh, I don't need those, so I used to print brackets, there, else we go to our weapon stats, and one, dot weapons, boom. And then it'll add the player amount to it. And if we go back to our MISC scripts on our weapon stats, it is called weapons, correct? And then we do have a player's amount. So it'll do that. And that's all we've got to do for the rest of them. So if we just copy this line here, anywhere it says item stats, so these three here have got to be done. So this time we do need to put brackets. Unless you just want to do if this, if this, if this, but that's not very good. So if weapon equals false it does that else if weapon equals true so it is a weapon we've chosen then it adds a weapon which we'll sort out by typing weapon starts dot weapon here boom boom and double d boom so we have name we have a description we have a player amount adds it if we double tick item stats everywhere we've got it except here it'll add it now this one again we don't really need to worry about this for now because well we can only admit that's a fail but what I want to do soon is implement it to an XML file so um, it saves it basically with making a save thing so it should be really cool we go to our collision script you see we should be able to click the sword now but anywhere it says item that item new ID added we can completely get rid of because we don't need it so there, anyway, it says it. Anyway, it says it. There. However, down here, we've, we currently we collect the sword. It's true. It doesn't increase how much we have. So easily done by going up the top, selecting. We need to create a new one. So here, we'll type weapon stats. This will again be weapon. That's yeah, just like that. If we go back to our collisions, we'll just tell it to assign, we'll assign it here. Yeah. So duplicate it, miss scripts, weapon stats equals weapon stats. So we, we've assigned it. We need that now because in our weapons, we've got to increase how much we get. So we put weapon stats dot weapons zero so the idea of it and increase the amount of it otherwise we would not be gaining any weapons so really simply i tried to explain it more that's why this tutorial is so long because a lot of people have struggled with this so hopefully by like but taking the code down and explaining it more you'll understand it more so we go back and we should not get any errors and we should be able to play so one thing we've got to do before we play is we've actually got to assign all the variables we new created so the new item is we don't need to assign yet. Weapon stats we need to assign by Miss Scripts. Item stats we can just assign now anyway. And inventory we don't need to assign. Well, we can just stick that on. And then we check collisions. Do we have any there? Yep, we have weapon stats there. And that should be it. So if we click play. So we click play and we'll go and test it. So we come down. 
press I to get our inventory, collect it, and it gives it us. Perfect. So we collect the nuclear box and a couple of others. There's a small glitch in it, but we can fix that. Another day it could be a lag. But that's it, we've collected a weapon. All that's left is when we click it, it gives us an option up here saying equip um, left or right hand. That's really, really simple. But we're going to add a little thing now. So we're down here. Here we'll type var um, equip um, single hand. This will be a boolean. And what we're going to set this to is whether or not um, we'll put this near the end, so before the icon. So, um, is it single handed or double handed? So then we can easily determine it. So, before the icon, after the icon, I mean, here we'll type um, ESH for equip single hand. This will be a boolean, not a booleba, a boolean. And then here we'll type. Equip single hand equals ESH. Perfect. So up here we'll just set fireball true because I want a dual handed system, not like a game that's big and starts with S K Y R I M is good for, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. so wooden sword we want with single handed, yeah. Um, fireball, ice ball, single handed, yeah, that's all good. So quick little booster there. Thank you for watching. We can now pick up swords, pick up weaponry. Really easy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Also, before I go, please join my Facebook group and you should see an annotation um, covering this truck right here saying download the new Unity um, project. It's from 1 to 100. Sorry it took so long. It's there. Please download it. See you next time.